Good morning, everybody. Well, it's another fine day. It's Wednesday. And they've already uh, unboxed them and they're already working on the next ones. And then uh, they are already got the septic tank going. So we'll walk around and then take a look and see what they have. Take a look at this real quick. It is. It's one of the columns. Well, it's the back a little bit. It looks pretty good. All these little white things right here are those little uh, dowels for uh, connecting the wall together with the hollow blocks. I suspect today they will pop those out. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see how it goes on that part. But, uh,. That's supposed to be the bottom, I think, of, of the columns for a second floor. But, that's what it looks like. Looks like it's still a little wet right here. I'm not sure what happened there, but take a look around some more. So, looking at this, looks like pure cement right there. Maybe a little bit of sand in there. Looks like they're doing a little patchwork that didn't fill in on this column uh, I don't know I don't know what happened there but we'll find out sooner or later exactly what happened with it I don't know I gotta find the foreman and I haven't talked to him yet today these guys right here are working on putting in the wall dowels well, that's the only thing that all these columns are missing right now all the columns are ready except for they don't have the wall dowels stuck in them. I'm not sure if it's a common thing that they do normally put these dowels in in these columns. Anybody want to comment? I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, found the foreman. He's down here doing the concrete work. Looks like they got one more layer since I've seen it last night. So on these columns where they did the little patchwork on it saying that I mean, the mix was a little bit dry or the possibility is because part of uh, the drain pipe that's in here is uh, causing a little bit of issues. So today when they mix up the next four columns, they're going to uh, make it a little bit more wet and then uh, turn up the vibrator a little bit. It vibrates a little bit better and gets it worked down a little bit be uh, better inside so they don't have any issues with... Uh, Plenty hollow with little little spots on the sides. Oh, I think our uh, foreman has became uh, the mason around here and not the foreman anymore. The last couple days, all he's been doing is uh, mason work. So I am being told right now this little wrap right here that's wrapped around the dowel is a lot thinner than the lot wraps they were doing yesterday. It's just wrapped around a couple times. Yesterday they had like a half a bag wrapped around it, so uh, this time not so much. So it's nice and thin. It still does the job. It's just less. So this is how they're gonna get the side dolls out of the, the columns. The so old school peck 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 with the nail, then pry it out a little bit. There we go. Come on, making a mess. Man, I think I think that Dell's kicking his butt or something. Huh? He's just trying to take it out, I guess. I don't know. Instead of bending it up and being using those uh, that uh, laborer muscles that he got going on for doing all that digging, eh, he can bend it up. Man, you're gonna hurt yourself. All right, he got his little little hammer to. Got the proper hammer, it's hollow in the back and it's all metal so he can... <laughs> I didn't think it was going to take this much uh, work to, to get this little piece of dowel out of here but uh, it's taken a quite interesting for him trying to get this bad boy out. There we go. Oh! There it is! Done! Well, we're on to our next layer already. We only got, I think, three more layers uh, of hollow blocks left before our, uh, they get to the top of the septic tank. And then uh, we got to do skim coating and some other stuff. We got to wait on some uh, the white sand from Pampanga, they say, to do the skim coating and uh, waterproofing. So they're going to waterproof the walls. 
So I'm, I'm excited to see how all that goes and what kind of a material they're using to waterproof these walls. But uh, from what a contractor says, they're going to use quite a bit on it. So uh, it actually just uh, leaches down instead of everywhere else. These guys are uh, putting putting the case around the columns. Quite a interesting little contraption they got going on here to lock it all into place. But uh, they're getting it all in. They got the little side things. And now, uh, right here is like the locking piece that locks everything in. And this uh, one piece of metal does. And it's cleaning it all up from yesterday. There's a little bit of residual left over on it. And so it locks into, locks into place. So, they just put these little dowels in like he's doing right in here. different size <laughs> there you go fix all use that hammer on that bad boy it'll make it work and they put these little uh, little spike metal pieces in here pulls it tight and they'll uh, do it the rest of the way up whack it and sort of bends these metals up a little bit but uh it gets the job done. Sucks it right in. And this is all done. Alrighty, our hole is getting done. It's almost lunchtime. We're going to come back over here and uh, take a look around, see how things are going. Foreman's over here uh, digging out the, the plumbing for our uh, septic tank. This is actually the, the inlet pipe. Coming over to the septic tank, so it's actually not too bad. It's not too low. I was thinking that was lower. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. See how this this goes. As I'm being told that we can't have our our uh, emergency overflow piping because it's uh, this pipe right here that we're looking at is going to be too low for going into the septic tank. But I'm not sure because it is quite a bit lower the other side is where, where the drop is I'm not sure maybe it maybe it is I don't know hey I know I do know it needs to be lower than the bathroom is or it ain't gonna matter anyways having it these guys are busy forming our outside wall everybody's gonna be a mason today it looks like and they got it all lined up. I'll go take a look at how they uh, they got the line going for the back wall. Um, they got it all the way through here. They measured it out. Let me take a look. So, they're measuring out the back side. Just putting a little nail in and then they're running the line across the back side so it's all nice and straight. And it has a proper amount of mix underneath so we're all perfectly straight and good it is a uh, sort of late afternoon we came along and these guys are already pouring these uh columns nice and they got some wall done yay we're waiting on our contractor right now with this one we talked to him we're trying to figure out what we're doing because there's a big window right here that uh, it's gonna take up quite a bit of room we're gonna do our, all of our electrical work over on this wall so we don't know yet we're waiting for him to show up he's supposed to be here today but it is Wednesday usually he's here for Wednesdays because these guys request a 30% advance pay on Wednesdays and that's the days that they get it so we, we know you'll be here at some point today. And they've been pretty busy here too. They got it all filled in. All the dirt. I know they still got, if 
I remember right, at least, I think there's two more uh, hollow blocks. There's two more hollow blocks going up left. But right over here is our two uh, drains. The top one is from the upstairs and the bottom one is from our downstairs one. It sort of looks like yuck. He's going to be uh, doing some work on that one, it looks like, I bet. So we'll see. Uh, we're using the vibrator on it. Hopefully this time it'll come out a little bit better than the, the first four. We'll see. I know they're using a little bit more sloppier uh, mix in this. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, that mix is quite a bit uh, more soupy than yesterday. Yesterday it was really thick. It was, uh, literally you could pile it up and it would just stand on its own. So this time they're gonna make it a little runny, so it uh, fills in everything a little bit better than yesterday's. And the lone wolf over here, always here by himself working, and here he is. Everybody's doing the pour, and he's working on the last four column. They're they're almost done with these. So I get the last four. And then later on, there's two more columns for them to pour. I'm not sure. I asked today when they're going to get to that. I know it's going to be a little bit, I would suspect. But uh, they're doing the main the main columns right now. This is just for the hold up the flooring for the garage and uh, our balcony. It's the only thing that's going to really hold up. And well, one section will hold up part of our bedroom. But we'll see how, how they pour all this out. I know our septic tank has to be get um, done before they can do much of anything in this area with uh, pouring. So we have a little dilemma here. We've been uh, beating this one around. I messaged Christian a little bit. And me and I still talked a little bit. And we talked also to the foreman. So on the left side of this, uh, of this wall, there's supposed to be a window. And then... A little bit further down, there's supposed to be a, uh, our power pan panel is going to be there, our circuit breakers, and then our air conditioning unit is going to be sort of just a little bit of right of that and above it. But we really don't think it's all going to fit on this wall because I'm going to have like a master breaker and then it goes to our uh, generator panel. And then it's going to go into the, the uh, circuit breaker box, which is a 16 uh, circuit breaker panel. So we're trying to put our dilemma and figure it out how we're going to use this wall the best way to do it. And I think we are moving the going to move end up moving the window down to the right and then uh, put the circuit breakers over to the left of everything and then we'll figure the rest of it and we're gonna make something work but we have very many supervisors right now trying to figure out how to get this back because guess what we had a failure on one of these uh on this box right here it just separated on us and now it is busting out the seams with this concrete one the locking systems broke on it and just came apart this little piece broke on this one right here actually it looks like the whole metal piece might have broke oh, oh i don't know yeah it broke the concrete is up to this little area right here so there's quite a bit in here so we're trying to figure out how to get this to squeeze back together and uh, i don't know if it's gonna squeeze back together that's a lot of weight and that's a lot of material in there gonna suck if they got to pull it apart all right everybody I hope you liked the video today you know hit that like button if you liked it if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit the bell button to see us some more all right thank you for watching see you tomorrow